Today I'm going to show you how to make some super cute mama and me headbands. The pattern pieces for this are at the link below in the description box or if you're watching from my website alohasewingcompany.com welcome and sew along. This pattern bundle has five different styles of headbands that you can make. They are all made the same exact way except the ends have different curves. So this tutorial will show you how to make each one. So I suggest using a stretch fabric like knit, spandex, DBP, something stretchy. However, you can make these using a woven fabric, your 100% cotton type fabric, which I'm gonna show you how to do here. They just won't stretch and you'll have to tie them on the person you're make them, making them for each time you make them. So I'm making this one in newborn to six months. And you can see here that you're going to cut this pattern piece out on the fold of your fabric. Again, I am using a cotton fabric. There's not really any stretch to it, but if you're using a stretch fabric, make sure it stretches from left to right, at least if it's a two-way stretch. This is a, a ribbed knit fabric. You can see here it stretches from the left to the right. So let's go ahead and get your headband pattern piece. I'm making the simplest one just to show you how they are done. And put the cut on fold side of your pattern piece onto the fold of your fabric. Trace around your pattern piece or you can just go ahead and cut it out. I like to put a couple pins or clips when I do trace the ones that have curves in them so that way my pattern piece doesn't move on my fabric as I'm trying to trace or cut it out. You are going to need two pieces cut out for each headband. After you have both fabric pieces cut out, you're going to lay them with the right sides together. That means the pretty sides of your fabric should be kissing. You're going to pin or clip all the way around your fabric if you need to. I don't need to because I'm using this woven fabric and there's no curves that I'm worried about shifting, but you're going to sew all the way around it entirely, but leaving about a one and a half inch gap, about three inches away from one of your ends. Here is mine sewn. I used a 1 4th inch seam allowance and here is the gap that I left open right close to the side. And now I'm going to clip off each of my corners right up to the stitch but not cutting through my stitch. If you have curved corners because you used one of the other patterns, go in and cut little slits, little notches all the way around any of your curves right up to that stitch line and you're going to do that so that way when you flip it right side out it will lay nice and flat. Now let's go to that gap opening that we left at one of our ends and we're going to turn this right side out. I like to start by turning the, the end that I'm near right side out and then you're just going to cinch it on your finger or use a turning tool and turn this completely right side out. This is a cotton fabric, so it's a little bit harder to do, but if you're using a stretch fabric, it's going to be super quick and easy. Once you get to this point, you can just grab that open end that's already flipped right side out and swing it in the air a couple of times until the other end of the tube comes out. Once you have it right side out, you're going to go inside the tube and press out all of your seams and poke out all of your corners and smoothen out all of the curves if you're making a curved end headband. 
I like to do this so it lays nice and flat. Again, it's going to be much easier to do if you're using a stretch fabric. And I like to use a chopstick to do this. You have two options for closing that opening. The first option is to not close it at all. It gets completely hidden inside of your bow when we tie this headband. But if you want to close it, I would suggest hand stitching it closed using an invisible ladder stitch. And if you don't know how to do that, I will also link a tutorial on how to do a blind ladder stitch in the, in the pattern itself. Now if you need to, because you decided to use cotton, go ahead and press it flat so that you can get out any wrinkles. And then we're gonna work on tying this, this bow. So you're going to take the two ends and you're just going to overlap them and then you're going to tie it like you would a knot. Bring that tail to the bottom so that you have a tail on the top and a tail on the bottom and then you're just going to knot it one more time and then you're going to adjust your loops however you want to do it. Make sure that your tail end is at the top straight and at the bottom straight for your first knot like that shows here. Now I'm going to just adjust this bow at the top so that it lays nice how I want it to lay. Again, this is using cotton fabric, so it's not gonna be as pretty and fluffy and stretchy. So it will be easier for you to tie this once you have it on the person you're making it for. This is a super quick project to make. They are adorable for all ages and they make the absolute best baby shower gift. We even have patterns for little skirts or other little easy things that you can pair with it. And here are the five different designs that come in the bundle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me. Please, please, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released. Visit alohasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on YouTube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster. We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.